For those of you who are watching on the rerun and for those of you who are here, today is going to be a concussion focused class. And so that means we're going to go over breathing. We're going to go over very subtle movements, a lot of upper body, a lot of head stuff, a lot of um, breathing while you're in postures. So we're going to spend a little bit more time in postures today. Also, if you feel overwhelmed, like if you have a concussion right now, if you're watching this and you're going through that, if you feel overwhelmed by any of the moves, go out of it and go into whatever is comfortable for you. When you're ready, go ahead, bring your awareness back to the body by start making little movements in the body. We're still keeping our eyes closed, but maybe you're either moving at the neck, Maybe you're swaying at the hips. Maybe you're moving with your arms. Just with your eyes closed, do whatever movement comes naturally to you. Slowly. Getting out any residual feelings. And when you're ready, go ahead, find that stillness again and we're gonna find some more movement together. So still with your eyes closed, go ahead, drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. They don't have to touch, but just keeping it still here, or you can nod your head yes slowly by dropping your chin and then raising your chin. And our ear is still towards the right shoulder. Just breathing in and out through your nose, either with the stillness or with the movement and going slow here. Good. When you're ready, go ahead and find that stillness if you're moving and then coming back all the way up into a neutral neck. And then same thing on the other side, left ear goes to the left shoulder. Breathe and either have stillness or again, nod your head by dropping your chin first and then bringing your chin up towards the ceiling. Good. And you can either come back to center or take a full circle all the way from that left shoulder to the right and then back down. And when you're ready, coming back up to center into that neutral neck position. Good, you can keep your eyes closed here or open them, it's up to you. I'm gonna keep mine closed. We're gonna send our waist to the right. So your hands are on your knees still. You're pressing away from your left hand as you lean to the right and then slowly fold forward over both legs rocking to the left, pressing away with your right hand. And then when you're ready, rock forward towards the center again. And then coming over to the right hand side and just going back and forth, feeling your low back, maybe release a little bit, your sides. Not forcing yourself to go a certain depth here, but just noticing where the body is and where it feels the most relief. Still breathing in and out through your nose. And when you're ready, go ahead, slowly coming all the way back up into that seated posture, nice and tall. And if you still have your eyes closed, go ahead, slowly blinking your eyeballs open, coming back to reality. Hi, Karen. And then coming forward into a tabletop position. So rock yourself forward, untuck your toes, and we're actually gonna sit back into a child's pose position. So knees a little bit wide, untuck your toes, hips on your heels, walk your hands out, forehead to the ground and breathe. Notice how your arms are feeling, your chest, your low back, your ankles, your knees, your hips. Taking a second to make any kind of movements here that feel good to you. So you can press one elbow into the ground, nice and deep. And then same on the other side. 
or you can rock your hips from left to right. You can spread your fingers out wide or make fists with your hands and then making circles with your fists. Whatever comes natural here. Good. When you're ready, go ahead, walk your hands together, bringing your hands into a prayer position. And then bend at the elbow until you bring your thumbs to the back of your neck, or you can just keep your thumbs here. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, you can bring your fingers, your hands, your palms to your upper back. Good, and if you want a little bit more, you can walk one elbow forward, then the other, and then sit your hips back further towards your heels, really pressing your elbows into the mat, getting more of a lat stretch, a tricep stretch. If you've recently sustained a concussion and it was from any kind of impact, oftentimes our upper body can feel a little jarred. So getting this stretch to open up our thoracic spine gently and our lats and our triceps can feel really beneficial. So just breathe here for a moment. Maybe pressing one elbow a little deeper than the other. When you're ready, go ahead, slowly release your hands all the way back down to the mat. Good. And then slowly coming up into a tabletop position. So hands right underneath your shoulders, bringing your knees right underneath your hips. 